Kenneth Walker's attorneys want a court to declare their client immune from criminal prosecution, saying that his actions were justified under Kentucky's Stand Your Ground law. My life changed forever in the early morning of March 13th. Standing with his parents and attorneys, Kenneth Walker recounted what happened the night his girlfriend, Brianna Taylor, was shot and killed by Louisville police. I was laying in bed with Brianna around midnight watching a movie. All of a sudden, someone started beating on the door. Officers were at Taylor's apartment to serve a search warrant related to a drug investigation. Police on the scene have said they knocked and announced themselves, but Walker says he only heard someone beating on the door and believed it was an intruder. He grabbed his gun, and when police busted the door down, Walker fired a single shot. Police responded with what Walker described as a hail of gunfire that killed his girlfriend. Brianna and I did not know who was banging on the door, but the police know what they did. LMPD says Walker's bullet hit Sergeant John Mattingly in the leg, although Walker's attorneys have doubts about whether that is accurate. Walker was interrogated, arrested, and charged with assault and attempted murder of a police officer just hours after the shooting. Charges brought against me were meant to silence me and cover up Brianna's murder. The charges against Walker were dropped in late May, but on Tuesday, his lawyers filed a lawsuit claiming LMPD threatened Walker's life, illegally detained him, and interrogated him under false pretenses. He trusted the police officers of PIU who said, hey, we're just here to try to figure out what happened, told them the entire story, and less than two hours later, they've charged him and put him over there in the jail. Attorney Stephen Romine says Walker acted in self-defense and should be protected under Kentucky's Stand Your Ground law. Using the criminal justice system to try to justify the shooting of Breonna Taylor is what this complaint is about. And we are watching it in real time every day. The lawsuit names 13 LMPD officers, former Chief Steve Conrad, along with interim Chief Rob Schroeder and Mayor Greg Fisher. Walker's attorneys are requesting monetary relief for the trauma he has suffered. For her and those that I love, I can no longer remain silent. Denny Camper, WLKY News. In a statement, a spokesperson for Mayor Fisher said, we've not seen the lawsuit and cannot comment on the specifics of pending litigation. But as the mayor has said, Breonna Taylor's death was a tragedy and justice, peace, and healing are what is needed for her, for her loved ones, and for our community.